Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, I just got a new tool. Um, nothing I really need. I don't need any more screwdrivers. But here's the deal. I've been doing a whole bunch of electrical work. And so, I really wanted some insulated screwdrivers. Well, I looked. And for most of these, they're like just ridiculous money for basically this piece right here. Um, I mean, I know there's more to them than that, but... I went to Harbor Freight, picked these up for $9.99. There's actually two more that I pulled out and I'm using my, in my electrical bags. These are ones I won't use that often, but I figured I'd, you know, I'm getting a few extra screwdrivers, might as well pay it. Uh, $9.99 for this, plus you get your 20% off coupon on top of that, or if they're on sale, whatever you find them. You can't beat this. And here's the, the thing. Because uh, you look at all these ones and they're like a thousand volts and they want like a hundred bucks for a screwdriver 40 bucks at least. I mean, it's ridiculous uh, But anyways, this insulates up to a thousand volts GS and VDE certified. I have no idea what the, exactly that is uh, Like I said, I, I know enough, but I don't know everything about electro electrical stuff uh, magnetic tip, seven pieces. So the ones that I use mostly, like I said, aren't here. There's, a, I believe it's a number two Phillips, and I don't know what size. That's the smaller screwdriver from this. Um, but anyway, I figure I'll keep these aside and use them when I need them for whatever. Um, but the other two are ones that I'll use quite often. And really what this is, is right here. This piece here, I mean, there's, like I said, there is more to it. It's it's you if you're going like this on a piece of something and you go to hit it with a screwdriver you're still probably going to shock yourself but here's the deal you sit there with a screwdriver especially if it's a small one like this and you tend to put your finger on here well if you got a regular screwdriver we'll use this for well here we'll use this is an even better example if you got a regular screwdriver like this if i'm doing this and screwing whatever I'm probably going to be okay if I touch this into electricity. Probably. No guarantees in when it comes to electricity. Uh, in fact, actually probably not because I think this shank goes all the way up through here. So if I was to touch that and grab that right there with my hand, I would shock myself. But let's say that wasn't there and it was just an end like this on there. Then I'd probably be okay. But a lot of people take screwdrivers and you tend to rest your finger on there and go like this. Well then you're grounding or connecting yourself to this metal screwdriver. You touch electricity, it's definitely going to nail you. With this, it's, you know, you still have chances. You still got to be careful, but if your finger's on there and you're screwing and you touch this to electricity, there is a uh, cover here that keeps the electricity from coming through and into your body. Um, that's the premise of these type of screwdrivers and it's a very good idea if you're doing any kind of electrical work That's why I, I went and picked these up. My dad had a set when I was a kid and I couldn't find them for the life of me I don't know where they ended up at um, But and he had a really nice set so, so looks anyhow, like zero, one, and then I have the two out there and then from the smallest to the biggest so I'm it's one eighth, five thirty seconds. So the seven thirty seconds is what I'm using, I believe, and then a quarter. So that's what you get in this set for nine ninety nine. I took my twenty percent off coupon on top of that, so I don't know. You guys can do the math. It is certified. It's up to a thousand volts. I mean, really, none of the really expensive screwdrivers can say a whole lot more than that. And with this kind of thing, I truly would believe that they would be a little bit more quality control, that it's at least up to the standards that they say it is on the box. Because if somebody's messing with electrical, especially up to a thousand volts, they better darn well make sure that they did their job because uh, a huge lawsuit could ensue if it says it's okay to that and it didn't. Now something you got to be careful with, these screwdrivers, um, like the ones in my bag, the ones that I'm going to use the most, especially, and even these ones, I'll be real careful. As soon as you nick this anywhere or break it anywhere, um, 
there you know and it goes down to where the metal is they're they're useless they aren't they aren't going to protect you the way they need to so you got to be careful with these you don't want to be prying on stuff or scraping stuff or using it like a chisel you know you got to be more careful with these that you're you're taking care of this part here so anyhow this has been long enough i figured i'd throw this out there I know there's going to be a lot of people that are like, oh, you're putting your life in your own hands trusting Harbor Freight. But you know what? You're putting your life in your own hands as far as I'm concerned with any kind of thing today. Because once again, across the board, there is no such thing as true quality out there anymore. I really don't believe at least very very few quality things out there. well youtube as you can see i have a totally different set of uh, screwdrivers here that's not to say that the harbor freight ones won't do the job and if that's the only money you have to spend on something by all means it's better to be safe as safe as you can be when it comes to this but i will say it's been actually several months ago since i've started this video and just hadn't been able to put it up yet and so i'm kind of ending it on this now I went out and bought this set at Home Depot I'm gonna have a video just a first look for now anyways who knows by the time I get this up um, whether or not that'll be out or not but anyhow I'm gonna have another video on these as far as that's concerned but I did go out and buy them I thought I should tell you that they are I believe around the 15 or 16 dollar mark for these at Home Depot and the bit one of the biggest reasons besides the tip of the the one on the Harbor Freight this tip is starting to bend a little bit because I tried using it for some other things just kind of testing it and it really wasn't up to par as far as that it'll work fine for a box probably those kind of things won't bend it but um, you know I was just kind of testing it out and the other thing that doesn't come with this I believe it's a Robertson the square head um, and this set does and I am finding with the actually the newer ones even though I think somewhere in this video it's been too long ago I can't remember but I think I said something about never needing that one well I was wrong because I've been having to buy newer uh, fuses here lately and the newer ones have the square head Robertson whatever you want to call it heads in them so therefore I do kind of need this to be to have a full set and and I am finding also I'll open it up that the ones I'm having the drawer here kind of just sit in the drawer here every now and then I'll use these smaller ones um, but I've never really used the bigger one for anything and I doubt that would hold up to whatever kind of screw that's actually meant to unscrew um, but to that extent these pretty much stay here most of the time and I don't use them um, and the other ones I just keep sitting I have them uh, hanging by my box in my house so I can use them in there uh, so there's the there's the point to that those ones aren't needed really I think all you need is the three probably and you'll be good so therefore I would suggest probably just going out and if you have the means just grab these ones um, like I said I'll have a video on these so go check that out all right this is Sam jack of all and obviously master none you all yeah you have a good one